Yo, Nerva Jean Say here. Today I'm going to be talking about everybody's favorite subject, and that is freezes. All right, so today I'm going to be going over um, all of the ways to get freezes that are repeatable. Okay, so one time achievements, path of trials, things like that, I will not be going over. I'll only be going over um, daily, weekly, and monthly zes that you get to do every single time. So we can calculate how much free zes you can get per month. All right. Um, and I'm going to start off with the total. I'm going to start off with the number that I came up with. That way, if you just wanted to know the number, you can like, comment, subscribe, and then go about your day. However, if you want to know how I got that number, feel free to stick around. And of course, this number will fluctuate depending on the player because it does depend on your rank, right? It's for arena and things like that um also depends on your squadron etc etc so it might be higher it might be lower uh that being said i was really conser conservative when it came to my calculations so you should be able to get this number i don't know if you can hear that but my neighbors are being noisy anyway um you should be able to get this uh number pretty easily um maybe after a few weeks of play you know your first few weeks you won't be able to climb an arena you won't be able to um score in anything so it might be a little bit lower anyway um so the number they came up with is twenty thousand six hundred and fifty eight zez per month just from these repeatable sources um no one-time achievements no compensation now that they've actually learned how to give proper compensation we sometimes get zez yay um or events anything like that all right oh and i didn't take into a pass exos pass i'll just put that out there also um so and I just want to say that's 29 pulls, just over one gold fake core pity per month. All right, so now we're going to get into the breakdown. So first, we're going to start off with the monthly Zez. And first things first is the attendance book. Right now in the attendance book, you get for week one, 100 Zez, week two, 200 Zez, week three, 400 Zez, and week four, 700 Zez. Uh, this comes to a total of 1400 Zez. Uh, I do have to say that this is subject to change, right? It's not the same every week. Or I mean, every month. Um, in fact, a while ago, it was actually 1,900 Zez, but they took 500 Zez out and instead increased the rewards for the other days, which totally fine in my opinion, although I might prefer the Zez. Anyway, next is Labyrinth. I'm putting Labyrinth in the monthly Zez, even though we have to do it once every day. But anyway, if you clear or are able to clear the entire labyrinth each month, it is 3,150 Zez per month. Okay, that's it for the monthly Zez. Now we're going to get into the weekly Zez. First is the weekly diary. This diary over here. Weekly. It's 250 per week, which will come out to 1,000 per month. Uh, next, we have Arena. And for this calculation, I just put Challenger 1, right? Because Challenger 1 is really easy to reach, but getting past Challenger 1 is a lot harder. So it just makes sense to make it Challenger 1, um, which is 1,050 Zez per week or 4,200 per month. Next is Squadron Battle. Um, if you just the participation of Squadron Battle, we get 700 per week. Oh, another thing. I did not include... I didn't include the um, the end of the squadron battle season, right? At the end of the season, depending on your squadron's rank, you do get Zez. So my calculation actually is a bit low. Um, anyway, uh, that's squadron battle. And also another thing to point out is that after the season ends, right? It's four weeks in a season. After the season ends, um, there is a one week period where we don't have it. So you won't get that 700 Zez. Sucks. Uh, anyway, next we have Embodiment of Avarice. And for Embodiment of Avarice, I just put 1,000 Zez per week for getting into the top 10%. Again, getting the top 10%, that sounds kind of hard, um, but it's really, really easy. Top 10% shouldn't be a problem um, as long as you've played the game for a little while. Like I said, newer players will have problems getting these numbers, but honestly, after one month of play, you should be able to get top, top 10%. No problem. All right. So that's 4,000 per month. Um, next, we're going to go into the daily um, sources. First, we have the daily missions. And I don't mean the diary. I mean the eight daily missions, like right here. Oh, I clicked on it. 
Um, write the orange daily missions, which you should be doing if you aren't. I don't know. Some people don't do them. I'm like, why wouldn't you do that? They give amazing rewards. Not not even the Zez, honestly. It's 56 Zez uh, per day, which really isn't that much. But one, it adds up over time. But two, the other rewards that they give you is amazing. Anyway, uh, so the daily missions, uh, there's seven. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. As I'm making this video, I'm actually realizing how many mistakes I've made. So I said there's seven per day, but there's actually eight per day, I believe. So there should be eight per day. Ooh, but wait, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Never mind. It's 56 per day. It's seven per mission. Sorry, I'm reading things wrong. It's seven per mission, which equals 56 per day. And that's 392 a week and 1,568 per month. Um... Moving on, we have the Daily Diaries, which is 30 a day, which will then equal 210 a week and 840 in a month. And lastly, for the Daily, we have Air Squadron Check, which is, or Check In, which is 10 a day, about 30 days in a month, so 300 a month. Oh, no. Never mind. Sorry. I'm like, I... I have all these notes, right, that I'm reading as I'm doing this video, and I'm just, for some reason, I'm just misreading them over and over and over again. Sorry. Moving on. Um, so next we have kind of, they're repeatable sources, but they're not reliable sources, which is why I put them in the end. Um, the first one is the daily tournament, right, the tournament that you uh, bet on. And again, I'm going to be really conservative. At eight points, you get 100 Zez. And then at 14 points, you'll get 300 Zez. However, I'm just putting for this calculation, um, you get eight points two times a month. So all you have to do is get eight points two times a month, 200 Zez. And that's what I used for this calculation. Like I said, I think it's better to be conservative in these things and underball things instead of overballing. I'm going to be like, no, I didn't get as much as I thought I would, you know? So um, that's that. Next is Coliseum. Again, Coliseum... Um, think was it seven wins for 100 and then 12 wins for another 200 or is it actually 300 anyway for this calculation i only put um you get seven wins two times a week so coliseum opens up every other week and you can do it every single time or every single day um for that week so i just put that you hit seven wins two times a week when it's open so that's 400 Zez a month. Again, I think that's conservative. Hitting seven wins, um, seven wins two times a week when you have seven tries, I think that's definitely doable. All right. And every time, every once in a while, you'll get really lucky and get 12 wins, hit the jackpot. All right. And then next we have the squadron raid, right? Killing the dragon. Um, again, very conservative. I put two times a week. If you're in a decent squadron, you should be killing it at the very least two times a week, if not every other day or every day for the top guilds. I, I'm sure they kill it at least once a day. Um, but yeah, so two times a week. So it's 200 Zez a week, 800 Zez in a month. And that's it. That is all the sources I put into my calculation. And once again, that is 20,658 Zez. And once again, that is being conservative. All right. So I think in reality, it's more like 22 to 23,000 Zez. Um, and then on top of that, you put like Exos Pass. Put Exos Pass. Um, you put the end of the month squadron um, Zez that I put, didn't put in here. Um, and then you just put in any of the events that they got going on, the social media events and stuff like that, you can easily add another 2,000 Zez or something on top of that. So I would say usually we're getting about 24,000 free Zez a month. And then on top of that, you have achievements, right? As you play the game, um, those one-time achievements, right? When you go into Diary and you have the achievements, they slow down quite a bit over time. Um, which is why I made this video specifically using repeatable um, freeze as sources, right? That don't slow down over time. It's the same. And once again, they might be subject to change like the attendance book, 
but they're going to be pretty consistent. All right, so that's it. That's my video. Freezes, yay. And honestly, people complain because they come out with like a banner every single week and they're like, no, we can't pull on all this. It's too much. It's too fast. I can't pull on every banner. You're not supposed to be able to pull on every banner. That's not how gacha games work. You're not supposed to have every single character, right? And when it came to First Guardians, for example, everybody wanted every single First Guardian just because the First Guardian uh, passive was just so freaking broken at the time, right? But take the Summer Festa into account, right? So there's seven, seven heroes, right? Um, Scarlet, Dagus, Iris, uh, Glenn... Yao, Bernadette, Valentina. That's seven. That's seven weeks. That's almost two months, right? So that's uh, 21, like at least 30,000 Zez. 30,000 Zez of free repeatable Zez, right? Not including any of the events or anything like that, that you're getting over the course of this Summer Festa uh, Fate Core like lineup, right? And Scarlet, not really... I didn't pull on Scarlet. All right. I'm just going to go with what I'm not going to go on my opinion on every single one. I'm just going to do show you what I did or my thought process. Scarlet. I didn't pull on Scarlet. Dagus. I gave a few pulls just because he's my boy, but I could have just completely passed on Dagus. Iris all in on Iris, right? I got lucky, got her in eight pulls, but I would have went all in for Iris, right? Next, we got Glenn straight up pass. Yao. I'm going to be passing on Yao. I know some people won't because she's blue and gives other people, um, or whatever a buff but straight up pass on yao then we got um what's it called bernadette i am be passing on bernadette straight up and then we got valentina unknown right i might be going all in on bernadette or i mean um valentina i might be going halfway or i might just completely pass right so all of this freezes straight up covers all of my summons for the entire summer festa and then some no problem all right, and of course, when it comes to if another FC set comes out like First Guardians, where I'm going to want every single one of them. This isn't going to be enough Zez, but I should have Zez stockpiled from the Summer Festa lineup because I didn't pull so much on that, right? And hopefully, the FC set after that won't be a must pull for every single unit, etc. etc. So, I honestly think when it comes to the free Zez that they give us, it's definitely enough. And when it comes to the one banner a week, although it is kind of an accelerated rate, it's completely fine. It's not insanely stupid. All right. So that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.